For practice it, self-check 2.35 unknown, we were asked, what is the output of the following unknown method? So we have a public class strange, and inside of here we have a public static void main right here. And in our main method, all we're doing is calling our unknown method right here. And our unknown method is right here it's all of this code so this is what we're going to be looking at inside of here we have this public static final int max that we're probably going to use so now we can start looking at our unknown method first we have that our int number is equal to zero so we have two variables so far we have this int max and this int number is equal to zero Next, we have a for loop where we have int counter is equal to max. So count is going to be 5. It's going to start as 5. And then this is going to run as long as count is greater than or equal to 1. And then count is being decremented every single time this for loop executes. So this is going to run 5 times because it's going to go from 5 to 4, to 3, to 2, to 1. So our for loop, inside of our for loop, we have that our number plus equals count times count. So for the first iteration of this loop, count is equal to 5. Now count is going to be 5 times 5, which is 25, plus number. Number is 0. So now for five, right here, number, we'll just write it as n, is equal to 25 plus zero, or 25. We are going to run through this loop again on the fourth iteration. Now we have number is equal to plus minus count times count. Count is equal to four. So we're going to have four times four, which is 16 plus 25. So now n is going to be equal to 16 plus 25 or 41. Next we are in, we go through our for loop again, we're in our third iteration and we have to run this as count times count. Count is now 3 so we have 9 plus equals n n being 41, we get that now n is equal to 50. Now for count being equal to 2, we have count times count, so we get 4 plus 50, so we get that n is equal to 54. And lastly, we have our last iteration where count is equal to 1. So we're going to have 1 plus 54, so n is equal to 5. This means that our output is just going to be this system out dot print line right here where it says the result is and then number. So basically in our output we will have the result is and then 55. So this will be our answer that will go in here.